Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another phenomenal video. Today is going to be something a little different. I know I always do different things on my channel, but today is going to be a video entitled Happy Birthday Call of Duty Black Ops. So today is exactly the fifth birthday of Call of Duty Black Ops. We just got the third iteration in the Call of Duty Black Ops series and I wanted to go back and appreciate the game that spawned two sequels and was my personal favorite game of all time. So, let's go back all the way to when it was first announced. I remember when it was first announced, watching the initial reveal trailer, it was so awesome. It was my second Call of Duty game. Uh, I'd only played Modern Warfare 2 before, and I got Modern Warfare 2 for Christmas, and I only got Xbox Live in March. So, from March into November, I played so much Modern Warfare 2, and I was so ready for Call of Duty Black Ops. I stayed up, I watched all the trailers, I remember back when they did the initial multiplayer reveal event, and there was like a couple videos coming up from YouTubers, and a ton of them got struck and had to be taken down because YouTubers were uploading more footage than they were allowed to. And I remember, like, c Nanner's gun game, Hutch's gameplays, I remember that's when Dr. Disrespect was big. There was so many awesome things in Black Ops that led up to it, and then leading up to it, the multiplayer reveal trailer, which was incredibly awesome. Oh, it was just such a great game. And I know I just keep saying that, but I'm going to try to get more focused and on track with this. So, like, the first day it was available for pre-order or something, I went out to the store and I pre-ordered the Black Ops Hardened Edition because I wanted the Hardened Edition. It came with all the original Zombies maps. It was only an extra 20 bucks. It had a steel bookcase, an awesome metal, a bunch of other cool stuff. There was a Frank Woods um, avatar outfit that it came with. So I was really psyched for it. And I wound up getting the Hardened Edition on the first day that it came out. I remember it was so torturous having to wait all day at school for Call of Duty Black Ops to come out and having to wait to go get it at GameStop. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my voice is a little strange today. And I remember that I pre-ordered it at a GameStop that wasn't the closest one to my house. So like on the way home from school, my dad picked it, me up and we went to GameStop and we went to go get it. And I paid for it myself. The cashier that checked me out was a black guy. He was wearing a flak jacket, which was really cool which was what I remembered, and it took me like half an hour to get through the line to get my game, and then my dad was like, yeah, he can get it, because I wasn't 18 at the time, I was 13 when that game came out, that was, that's crazy to think about, that I was 13 when this game came out, and now I'm 18 and the third game came out, that's strange. Alright, so, I got the game, I went home, and of course, on like the biggest day of the year for me, the Call of Duty Black Ops release, I had a presentation the next day, so I had to spend like two hours preparing for the presentation, well, let's say, by the time I got home and installed the game and had to download all the DLC that I got with the Black Ops Harden Edition, I had like five minutes to play before my mom got home, and then my mom got home, and then I had to practice my speech and everything, and I remember IGN was on, no, not IGN, what am I talking about? Um, what was it? Oh, the video game channel network, G4. G4 was on, and they were doing a whole Call of Duty Black Ops special, so I'm like half watching that while doing my speech, and my speech wound up being really, really good. Oh, and this was also the first Call of Duty that I had an HD monitor for. I'd just gotten an HD monitor over the summer, just so that I could play Call of Duty in HD. And so, I finally got to go play it, and I played a crap ton of Call of Duty that night with my friends, which was so great. That's really one of the things that made Call of Duty Black Ops great for me, was I got to play with so many of my friends, that was really the last... Call of Duty that we all played together on a consistent basis, and that that saddens me, because we kind of all drifted apart, we went our separate ways in high school, and it was just over. This was my 8th grade year that the game came out, I should probably add that, so like, the very next fall, we all split ways and went to different high schools, so played a shit ton of it that night, and it just kept going, and I can remember that was like the only Call of Duty that I've ever gotten that I have ditched football for like I would not watch any football on Sundays I would just sit in my room and I would play Call of Duty I also for Christmas that year I got a pair of PX21 Turtle Beach headphones which were incredible sounding uh, and that was also the year that the Bears were like primed to win the Super Bowl it's the year that they lost to the Packers week 17 and then lost to the Packers in the NFC championship game so those were some important football games that I chose to just play Call of Duty instead of watching and I can remember playing half the campaign because I just loved the multiplayer so much that I didn't want to miss out on any XP. So I played the campaign only a little bit. And Zombies, Zombies was so much fun. I remember only like two months. I played two months of like exclusive multiplayer and only a little bit of Zombies before I really started to get into Zombies. And that's when I just found my absolute love for Call of Duty Zombies. And I still love Call of Duty Zombies. And I think when I go home for winter break, I'm going to make some Call of Duty Zombies videos because I love the Black Ops Zombies. Those were the best Zombies in Call of Duty history in my own personal opinion it was so much fun all the maps were fun and that was another thing about call of duty black ops all the multiplayer maps 
were incredible. There was like one or two that weren't good, but other than that, all of the multiplayer maps were absolutely fantastic. And I know people will like to dislike different maps, but in my personal opinion, those were the best Call of Duty maps. Like, if you ask me my top five favorite maps, at least three of them will come from Call of Duty Black Ops. And that would be, at the number one, Nuketown, number two is Summit, and then somewhere around like four or five is Firing Range. Because those are my top three favorite Call of Duty Black Ops maps. And Nuketown and Summit are just so close to each other in terms of the top map. I remember playing countless games on Summit. I remember also doing some game battles in Black Ops, which made it memorable. That's also that summer after it came out in 2011. I got my Dazzle, so that was my first capture card. So I started making some Zombies videos, as well as some multiplayer videos. I remember I used the webcam on my little crappy um, netbook to record some zomb no, not zombies, to record some sniping montages. There was just so much awesome stuff that I did with Call of Duty Black Ops. And then, oh god, we didn't get into the mul the DLC or anything, but continuing going, like, I was prestiging, I was having so much fun, I was buying things, it was so great. I think I wound up making it to, like, 6th or 7th prestige in the end, and I still want to go back and play more. It is such a phenomenal game that I always, whenever I go home, I just play, I just play Call of Duty Black Ops. It's, like, my favorite game. It is my favorite game ever. And then we get into the DLC. So in about January was when the game started getting a little bit stale to me. I had just become so good at the game. LOL. <laughs> Not really. I just played the game so much that it was starting to get stale. And that was the perfect time for the release of the First Strike map pack. The First Strike map pack was, in my opinion, the greatest map pack in Call of Duty history. Not only did it give us four incredible multiplayer maps, including Stadium, which was still one of the greatest maps in Call of Duty... But it also gave us Ascension, which is my favorite Zombies map. And here's why Ascension is my favorite Zombies map, and the First Strike map pack is also my favorite map pack. So the day that it came out, it was a Tuesday, and we were supposed to get a lot of snow on that Tuesday. And, well, we all went through school, we all had, like, stayed up or got up early and set the map pack to download everyone from my school that played the game. And so the, the map pack was ready. I remember my friends Alex and Jack, they stayed up till it released, and then they played like a game and got to like round 15, and they stayed up for two hours playing Ascension, and they were so tired the next day in school. But after, <clears throat> after the school day was over, we all went home, and it was snowing like, like a fuck ton of snow out there. And then we all got the call later that night that, oh hey, no, it wasn't even later that night. It was over the PA system before the day even ended. They said school is canceled tomorrow. And it was just incredible because we all stayed up that night until like midnight and beyond playing zombies. And not even really the multiplayer map. We were all just playing zombies because it was so much fun. It was me, Alex, Dan, and I think Jack all playing zombies. No, it might have been Brandon playing zombies with us. I don't know, but it was just so much fun. We all had a buttload of fun. PhD Flopper, that's another thing that makes PhD Flopper my second favorite Zombies perk, is because of the map Ascension and all the fun times that I've had on Ascension, all the high rounds I've got to on Ascension. I've had so many crazy nights playing. And then not only did that day get canceled, but the very next day got canceled because when you woke up that morning, we had like three or four feet of snow. And this is northern Illinois, so we don't usually get that much. We had three or four feet of snow. It was like the biggest snowstorm of my lifetime, so school got canceled for the rest of the week. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all got canceled, so we all essentially had six days to play Call of Duty Black Ops till our heart's content, and that was awesome. I absolutely loved that. That was so much fun. Oh my god. And then you continue on through all the other map packs, Call of the Dead. I remember Call of the Dead is my second favorite zombies map because getting to round 30 with my friend, we played so hardcore that night, and then there was another night that we were up till 5 in the morning, I shit you not, 5 in the morning we stayed up till playing zombies, and we only lost because his dad was getting up for work, and he was concerned that his dad was going to come down and, like, catch him playing games at 5 in the morning, and then he'd been up all night, so we quit. I also remember that's the same friend, Dan, that ruined an Ascension Easter egg. Like, we were doing the Ascension Easter egg. We were, like, two steps away from finishing the Ascension Easter egg. And he he quits because he thought his parents were coming home. And two minutes later, he's back online. And he's like, yeah, it wasn't my parents coming home. And we're like, fuck you, Dan. We spent four hours working on this Easter egg. And you just completely fucked us all over. So there's just so many fun Call of Duty Black Ops memories that I've had throughout the years. I stayed up all night for the third map pack to come out, Shangri-La. 
I, I legitimately stayed up all night that night. Me and Dan were up till 2 in the morning. Or no, it was me and Alex. We were up till 2 in the morning. And I saw a tweet from Major Nelson that was like, yeah, the map pack's not going to drop till like 5 or 6 in the morning. So I'm like, all right, Alex, I'm just going to go to bed. Well, guess what? The map pack dropped 10 minutes after Major Nelson sent out that tweet. So fuck you, Larry Herb, because you screwed me over that night. But for reals, I love you. You're awesome. Xbox is cool. Uh, I remember Moon. I didn't really get to play Moon much because by that time we'd all went our separate ways in high school and we didn't really meet up to play zombies that much online. But I still remember playing crap ton of it. I'm going to have to go back and play some zombies online with some people and record that because that's just awesome. And I'm thinking of bringing my Xbox to school with me just so I can hook it up to the TVs in the lounge just to play zombies with people because that is so much fun. I love Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. Now, somewhat of a call to action to end this video with. Seeing as it is the 5th birthday of Call of Duty Black Ops, the 5th anniversary of Call of Duty Black Ops, I was going to push for a remastered version of Call of Duty Black Ops on the next generation consoles. That's probably not going to happen now. I saw a tweet this morning from Larry Herb, I believe it was, or an article from Larry Herb, Major Nelson, saying that Call of Duty Black Ops is like the headliner for the forward-compatible Xbox 360 games, or the backward-compatible Xbox One games. So... It's probably not going to be remade because it's going to be console compatible or next gen compatible with the Xbox, which disheartens me that it's not going to be with the PlayStation. So, because of this, I'm probably going to have to get an Xbox One just to play Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm going to hold off a little bit to see if they announce a remastered bundle for Call of Duty, but if they don't, I'm going to have to get an Xbox One just to play Black Ops on next gen because it is my favorite game of all time. And if they do make it, if you do. Or when you do port it over to next gen, please port it with all the DLC or allow us to download all the DLC that we bought. Because it's not fair to only give us the two zombies maps and the like 8 or 10 multiplayer maps that you release with the game. We want all the DLC if we bought it. That's just something I want to say right now. And Activision, if you do feel inclined to do so, please port it to the PS4 as well. I would love you forever if you guys made just a remastered version with all the DLC included. I would buy it at $60, to be honest. I would buy it for $60, provided that people are going to play online. And that people I know are going to play online. Because I love Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty Black Ops was my life for nine months to a year. It was, and still is, my favorite game. I can go back and play Call of Duty Black Ops at any time. I can go back and play Campaign, Multiplayer, or zombies, and still have as much fun as I did in my Call of Duty Black Ops Prime. I absolutely love the game, and that's all I have to say for this video. Happy birthday, Call of Duty Black Ops. You are missed. I wish more people were online playing Black Ops. I can remember at one point when I was playing that I saw 4 million concurrent players playing at one time, and I was absolutely amazed. I was like, wow, we have 4 million people playing all at once. And so, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, as always, I encourage you to leave a like rating. Like for Black Ops. Comment down below, letting me know if you guys love Black Ops, what your favorite Black Ops memory is, what your favorite Black Ops gun is, and what your favorite Black Ops map is. And so, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. I love Black Ops.